so let me just think Monday Tuesday Thursday no what's missing homebrew Wednesday <laughs> Hi everybody, um, as I say, Peanut Brewery here. Um, it's been a really busy week. And we've got to Thursday without doing a homebrew Wednesday, so I thought I'd put it up now. Um, it's quarter to midnight, so this might be homebrew Friday. Um, really short today. As I promised you last week, I'm going to um, try the Porta Potty Brew, which is up. Um, it's not going to focus very well because I'm doing this on the webcam, unfortunately. Um, so the Porta Potty Brew is the um, first all grain that I've ever done, and this is actually the very first tasting. Recycle bottles. I really have no idea why the camera keeps doing that, um, but here we go. Oh, there's a hiss. That's good. It's got to stop doing that. Um, it's a good smell to it. Um, so, this all seems a bit contrived, I'm afraid, because of the webcam. But let's go. Let's try this. I don't know if uh, it's not clear. But that's not a problem. So, half pint. Very little head. Not at all clear, as you can see. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Definitely hoppy, um, which is uh, which is good, which is really good actually. Um, so there were two sets of hops that went in this: um, sixty, twenty, and flame out. Um, did I put them in? Yeah. So it was Brewers Gold and Tattening, Tattening, Tattening hops. It smells a little bit like like children's sweets, which is quite sweet. But okay, so here we go. interesting would I say it's good I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was exceptional um, it's got quite a complex flavor to it it's um, there's a little bit of licorice in there there's a lot of sweetness in there, but it's not sweet. It's it's kind of dry on the back. It's but it's definitely licorice, and and I tell you what I think that that is, is that it was my first batch uh, batch barge, and. I didn't put as much through as I 
thought that I should do because I thought the colour changed too much. So I think that there was a lot of grain flavour in this, a lot of malt flavour in it. It certainly isn't in any way clear. It's been in the fridge for a couple of days. It's definitely ailey. It is it's definite. It's a definite ale. Um, it was a bearded guard, so it was sort of a longer sort of fermentation and um, conditioning in the bottle. Is it bad? No, no. It's 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 not bad. Is it great? It's not exceptional. Does it have a set of complex flavours? Yes, absolutely. And, and really good complex flavours. Sorry, it's keeping the head. A little bit of lacing, not a lot. First bit, first all grain bit, really quite good. Good effort, I think is what I would say, a good effort. Nice. Um, according to um, Brewer's Friend, it says 6.4%. Named after, of course, the mash tun, which looks either like a porta potty or as somebody else said, R2D2, which is both of which are absolutely um, beautifully descriptive. Anyway, that's it. A really short homebrew Wednesday. My very first all grain ale. Not bad. Might need more time in the bottle. Certainly a complex flavour set, which challenges you, and I like that. Anyway, um, my smash has got to Zippy at um, Berserker Brewery, so we'll be seeing that in a couple of weeks' time. Um, it's incredibly carbonated, because I had problems with um, the first set going out before I sent it, so it kind of leaked but don't tell anybody um so it's a good job i did more than 12 bottles um so that's with them now so we'll see where that goes next week's homebrew wednesday will most probably if i can get it done a brew of the um blue moon clone of which i'm doing for the barbecue in june as long as i can get everything together and get it all set up Hopefully you should see that then. Anyway, I hope that you're having an amazing uh, week. Next week will be a little bit more professional. Um, happy Homebrew Wednesday. See you next week.